Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geek Aim in Development and welcome to our Xcode tutorials. And this week I'll be showing you how to play YouTube videos in your applications. Now already on the simulator, an example of what we're creating today is a simple web view displaying our embedded YouTube video. It can be any video you like, I've just picked one of our famously good tutorials from YouTube. Once we click the play button it loads up and it will go full screen in a second. Plays the video. We have the full functionality of videos. We can pause it. We can even skip it. Play it. Pause. Make it larger and smaller. Press done when we're finished. And there you go. So we'll be creating that today. So. Already, I'm a project set up. It's a simple single view application for the iPhone, and I've simply named it Play YouTube Vids for the purpose of this tutorial. Now, the first thing we need to do is add our web viewing, our XIB. So we just search for our web view now. And there we go. Chuck that in. Now, the um, when we embed the video, we can change the size of the video itself. So if we kind of scale the web view to a reasonable amount of size, we've already got some preset sizes to make it look um, pretty nice like it does in the simulator. And those preset sizes are for the web view, 280 by 155. You don't have to do these sizes, you can play around it yourself and do your own kind of thing, but it's what I did in the simulator, it looked look pretty good anyway. So we're going to create the outlet now, so we click on our assistant editor, put in our brackets there, and instead of dragging the outlet above to create the outlet, we're going to below the final curly bracket, I'm going to name it web view. Just so it creates the app property with our outlet there. Now if we save that, go into our single view there and jump into our view controller.m. Just um, in the view did load section here, what we need to do is type in ns string space asterisk. Alright, so simply um type give it a name embedded code space equals space that symbol quotation mark quotation mark and that raised semicolon now in between the two quotation marks here will be the embedded code which you can find on YouTube we'll come to that just in a second we're just finishing off the rest of the code now so we do bracket bracket self space name of our web view which is web view after the bracket we do load HTML string there and then we put in our embedded code base URL nil and that red bracket and a semicolon. So that's all the code that's needed to enable us to you know kind of load and play uh, YouTube videos within a web view. So now we need to get the um, code to place in our quotation marks to play the video. So I've already got the um, YouTube loaded up here of one of our tutorials and all you need to do is select any video you like go to share go to embedded and highlight the whole of that text there and then copy it and then paste it in between the two quotation marks now already you can see there's an error thrown up it's text is different colors and it's just going all over the place yeah that's because there is quotation marks within the quotation marks and it doesn't really like that so what you need to do before every quotation mark, except the first and the last one, is we need to put a backslash. So everyone we can find along the line. This will kind of stop the error it's throwing up. Now, like I said before, I've got some preset um, sizes. Now, as you can see here, the video is going to load up or initially look on the iPhone screen before you click onto it. It's going to be 560 by 315. Now my preset sizes are 265, 140. 
Now, I'm going to use my preset sizes, like I said before. I've kind of how I preset it out on the simulator, it, it looked really good, and I was kind of happy with how it looked. So, if you go to build and run on this simulator now, we just wait for that to load up. So, there you can see as it loads up. Now, as you can see there, the um, web view is about 15 or so um, pixels bigger around the edges than the actual video itself. So it gives it a nice little white border, which, you know, looks really nice. So then, so once you put it in there, we can press play. And it loads up. And the video plays. So there you have it. That's simply how you play YouTube videos from within your applications. So I hope it helps now your videos or projects or apps at the moment. If you haven't, make sure you subscribe and please make sure you like and favour all our tutorials as it really does help us out and it gains us a wider audience and more people can learn from our tutorials. If you haven't, make sure you follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook and go check out all our apps which are currently on the App Store just by simply searching Geek Lemon. But like I said before, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all next time in our next... Thank you for watching this tutorial by Geeky Lemon Development. Be sure to follow them on Twitter and like them on Facebook. Oh, and check out all of their other tutorials and sample projects on their website, geekylemon.com. But most importantly, please download their awesome iPhone and iPad apps by searching Geeky Lemon on the App Store. And please remember to subscribe.